Live from Nashville with your hosts, Jillian Harris, Brett Chuckerman, and Jake Wetter. This is Live from the Red Carpet. Hello, I am Jillian Harris from Extreme Makeover Home Edition, and I am totally living the dream right now here on the infamous black carpet at the 44th annual 2010 CMAs. I am so pumped to be here right now. First time to do this, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not doing this alone though, you guys. I've got Jake Wetter and I've got Brett Chuckerman and they are helping me out on the black carpet. And you know what guys, this is the first time ever that you guys can go on, on abc.com. You guys can log in your questions, whatever you want to ask for your favorite country music artists, we will ask them and they will answer it here, right here on abc.com. Brett, how you doing over there? Guys, hi, thanks so much. I'm Brett Chuckerman and I've got to tell you, we have got so many fantastic spots here on the red carpet. It's going to be an absolute blast. And as Jillian said, it's not actually the red carpet for the CMAs, it's the black carpet. And I I think I've got the best location of the night. I'm right here at the first spot. Once the music stars have had their pictures taken, before we start those interviews, we've got Jake Wetter outside with the fans. You can hear him screaming, they're having a blast. Jake, what's going on out there? Well, it's craziness out here. I'm Jake Wetter from Radio Disney, and well, I'm gonna actually say that this is the place to be because I'm here with the fans. Country's biggest fans, they're the one that make it country's biggest night. You guys ready for this? Yeah! You better be. We're live in Music City, Nashville, for the 44th Annual CMA Awards. Everybody out there that wants to get down, come up front and get down with us. Come on. All right, now. I go on our wonderful husband, and you, I hear that country music really runs in the blood in your family, right? Yeah, yeah, we've been uh, we've been making music since we were 13 years old. I got my younger brother uh, Charles Kelly from Lady Annabelle in here, up for like seven awards. So like, yeah. <laughs> and and you're releasing your album, right? Or you just have? Yeah, no, I've got my single Georgia Clay out right now. That's uh, climbing the charts, and the album will come out the next spring. So. Fabulous, so exciting, congratulations. And have you always been a country music fan? I was more in high school. I listened to my Shania Twain and Faith Hill and Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks yeah. That's right, come on now. And then uh, kind of got more into like the moody stuff in my 20s, but it's been really fun to come back and rediscover it with him. Yeah. And there's a lot of great stuff on the radio and his stuff is by far the best, so. What was your inspiration for your new album? This is from Karen from Texas. All right. Well, uh, actually, the family. You know, the last two and a half years of us getting married and moving and then adopting Naley. I wrote a song about Naley uh, last year that's going to be on the album called Naley Moon. So, you know, we're excited about this, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Apparently, there's a rumor going around that last year your car left an oil stain on the red carpet. Is that true? That is true. We uh, Last year was a red carpet, and we, we drove, I have a 52 Oldsmobile, so we made it a date night, and we drove in, and I didn't realize you have to park on the red carpet, and I had a bad transmission fluid leak. Kelly Pickler, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I am good. Are you excited for tonight? I am. I'm very excited. Who are you most excited to see up on stage? Well, I hear that uh, Gwyneth Paltrow is here tonight. Along so with good skill. Yeah, so that'll be an interesting performance. I'm looking forward to that, of course. Now, you've got a great hit out right now, Smoke a Little Smoke, and you're on tour with the, the, the woman to watch tonight. Are you rooting for Miranda? Oh, very much. She's uh, most uh, nine nominations, I think. Yep. I texted her earlier. I said, surely to God you can win one or two of them, you know, those nine. But we... Uh, we get along really good. I'm here with the Jane Deere girls, and they are absolutely darling. You guys, tell me about your outfit. Seriously, this is amazing. <laughs> well, I'm totally in love with vintage, and uh, this is a 1950s Emma Dom dress. You look, so. you look it's like Laura Lynn all over again, right? It's Luke Bryan. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh... We're live on ABC.com, and we want to congratulate you. And we want to congratulate you on your nomination. Well, thank you, thank you. It's uh, certainly an honor to be nominated, and uh, just glad to be here. Aiken and shaken. Yeah, so there's it's a split album. So there's a side that you ache to, and then there's a side that you shake to. So whatever, whatever mood you're in. I have got racing legend and presenter tonight, Jeff Gordon, and his beautiful wife. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Great to be here. I think you look gorgeous tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about who you're wearing? 
Uh, Nina Ricci. Sorry, it took me a minute. Well, as long as you remembered it at the end. <laughs> Ask me. <laughs> yeah. there, now, obviously, this is the last year that Brooks and Dunn are, are together and are nominated. Do you, do you think maybe there's going to be a, a sentimental feel when, when the moment arrives? Well, I would love to see Brooks and Dunn win. You know, they've been huge supporters of, of NASCAR and Dale Earnhardt uh, Sr. when he was with us. And, um, you know, I, I, I love what they do and what they and to be in the business as long as they have and still you know going for awards is incredible so that'd be awesome well we are here with still magnolia the first question right off the bat is it true that you guys met in a karaoke bar it is true we did it was downtown nashville yeah, right yeah. around the corner no, do you I'm remember right. what songs you were singing that night <laughs> uh, megan was singing this big bluesy ballad by susan tudeski yeah. called it hurts so bad and i and i'll never forget you know i walked in i was walking towards the back towards like the pool table area and I heard this huge voice, and I turned around and, and I saw. And, and when I saw her face, I was like, I knew immediately she was like a, a star, you know. You totally <laughs> fell in love. Yeah, and I was like, if this girl doesn't have a record deal, I'm in trouble. Now, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you. Now, you were nominated for a record nine nominations, writing, singing, album, entertainer. If you could win just one, which one would it be? I have to say album of the year. That's a big one as a songwriter, right? Because it, yeah. it kind of embodies everything you're doing. Yeah, I wrote um, almost every song on the record, and it's you know they're my babies, the songs. So this you know this album Revolution really has been a revolution in my life and in my career. So I'd love to take that one home. Seriously, you just got inducted into the hall, uh, the Grand Ole Opry, right? I'll take the Hall of Fame too. Hall of Fame. Though. I mean, it could be sports, it could be Grand Ole Opry. Uh, just got engaged. Miranda's up for nine nominations. I mean, life is really good right now. Man, I tell you what, I I was just telling somebody earlier, and uh, I'm retiring. After tonight, right. so I'm going to do my need. performance, and I'm screw it. I'm out of here. Hey, gang, how are you guys how are all doing? You? Good. How are you? Well, this is absolutely such a big night for you guys. And I was reading about how on your album you guys wrote nine of the twelve tracks. There's four of you. How do you guys manage to, to <laughs> sit down and write? Uh, it's, it's it's very calculated. <laughs> do you guys kind of rotate one word off the next? Man, it's just a big uh, collaboration. We have fun. We create together, and it's it's a really great uh, working relationship we have with each other. You had the CMA nominations. What can I say? It's been a pretty good year. It's good to still uh, still be wanted, you know. So it's uh, it's great. You know, we're actually doing a, our first single off our brand new record that comes out next Tuesday. Just when you write when you write your own songs and make your own records, it's really uh, those albums really mean a lot to you. So I think winning album of the year would be would be really special for me. How does it feel, by the way, Vocal Group of the Year being nominated at the CMAs? Well, we are so honored, are actually, honored. to just be here tonight. So let alone to have the nomination last is amazing. Year, uh, last year we were watching the award show from our hotel room. So to be here again is an honor. I remember we got really drunk. <laughs> we tried to get in character, you know. Right, right, right. Uh, but uh, actors, yeah, actors Right, you know, in was, character. It was a long night. How are you guys? Oh, we're great. So tell us really quickly about your new single. Crazy Women out right now so I'm super excited it's about love and what the what women will do sometimes when it drives them absolutely nuts right absolutely nuts yes. well, it looks like I'm, you're getting pulled already congratulations okay. you look gorgeous thank quickly you who are you wearing much. I'm wearing corks well you look fantastic I'm gonna let them take over before you get pulled thank you so much see you guys can see just what madness it is around here you get an international superstar like Leanne Rimes and everybody wants a piece of her who styled your hair today Ty oh I think I did you good job Ty yeah, yeah well thanks guys I can dress myself so I'm I mean pretty... I don't mean to be cheesy but if you're here and I'm here who's building houses right now <laughs> kicks Brooks. how are you I'm good how are you doing I am better than I feel like I've ever been. I'm living the dream right now. Ew, you're just rocking, aren't I you? Am. We're actually live on ABC.com right now, and we have some fan questions. Okay. And one of your fans loved you on ABC's Cougar Town, which yeah. we're taking over that night tonight for the CMAs. So uh, will you ever be on the show again? I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to call Courtney and say, hey, what about a, like, comeback? Now head over right now to ABC to see the 44th Annual Country Music Association Awards live from Nashville. Have a great night, everybody.